<laughs> yeah, your name. Yeah? <laughs> Have a lovely night's sleep tonight. Thank you for making my roast. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello, how are we all? Hope you're all doing it very well. Welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog. I'm in town today. I came in quite early, hence why I'm on my own. Zara's just gonna meet me here. I got into town very, very early this morning because I had to go and get my hair cut. Um, I went to a new barber in town and it was very, very nice to for quite like a short, blunt cut, which I really do enjoy. So yeah, Zara's is heading on in. We're gonna meet each other. Um, we've got quite a fun day today. We're doing a couple of restauranty bits. The weather has been terrible, hence why I have an umbrella in my hand, but it's cleared up now, which is lovely. I just had a little coffee in Gales. So um, yeah, we're gonna have a very chill, very chill Sunday, but today is quite an exciting one. We're going to a new restaurant that's opened in Canary Wharf called Six by Nico. Um, I'll tell you more about that when we're there. Sorry, the lighting's a bit odd. There we go. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a lovely one. So, and um, yeah, let's get cracking with the weekend. First things first, I need to go meet Zara. <laughs> Look who I've met up with. I have very, very flat hair today. No, you don't. Well, I've some my hair. Oh, whoa! <laughs> um, we just jumped on the tube because I actually thought dinner was at half this one, but it's at one o'clock, so we're gonna go there now. We're in Canary Wharf. This is why Luke's always late for things, because he convinces himself. Not true. Oh, it's quite drippy. Two seconds. Well, we're going to British summertime. Constant rain. So, um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys when we get to the restaurant. I'm very excited. We've just made it inside the restaurant and the decor is incredible. I love this. And they've got a London map on the banquette. And they've just, if you are familiar with our toilet transformation, they've gone for black, which just looks so nice and looks, it's gorgeous. And this is the menu. So it's a six course taster menu and each is paired with a Edinburgh gin cocktail. So we're gonna be trying some Edinburgh gin, which is, I'm gonna say up there with my top three gins. And we're gonna have some of these. So it all sounds absolutely gorgeous. Oh, deep fried Mars bar. That's such a Scottish thing. Have you ever had that? I said, not long ago, I was like, I wanna go somewhere for someone that has a deep fried Mars bar. Yeah, it's a very northern thing. Deep fried battered Mars bar is a northern delicacy. <laughs> so we've had the first gin cocktail arrived. We just met a woman from Edinburgh and she was so lovely. And this is what's arrived. <laughs> However, there's just some kind of chip pork on the side of salt and samphire, and we don't know whether we eat it or put it in the drink. I'm gonna, Zara's has put it in the drink, but I, I feel like some of it's already gone in. Do you think maybe put it in and stir it? Why is this a pretty woman moment where there's like seven or eight knives and forks? I'm like, which which one do we use? <laughs> we just asked the waiter and you do put it in and stir it. That's great to know, there we are, right. Brilliant. Oh, it looks like, um, oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Wow. So this is the first course. This is posh cheese and chips with a um, curry oil emulsion and then underneath is a goat's cheese espuma, which is like a soup. How cool is that? So this is one of six. <laughs> this was course number two. We just had fish and chips. I didn't record it because it's quite busy and loud, but it was absolutely delicious. And we had a Portuguese vino verde. Are you enjoying this little bar? It is. <laughs> They're quite small portions, but there's a lot of food to get through, so I'm finishing Zara's for her, and she's taking my empty place. And my drinks. <laughs> this is the root vegetable pie with a, a mushroom duck cell and then cold pressed rapeseed oil. So it's like vegetarian haggis, which looks amazing. And we've got a glass of um, Argentinia Malbec. This is the um, halloumi with confit fennel, house sauce, and beer scraps, which I think is some kind of like battered beer. Zara's not a massive fan of halloumi, so um, I'm gonna eat hers for her. So dessert is up. This is the sixth course. This is the deep fried battered Mars bar, but it's a posh version. So you're having a posh introduction to a northern delicacy. You will like this. I feel like you like it. Let's try it. Oh, when we, yeah, and we've got a Campari as well, a Negroni. Go for it. Yeah, your name. Yeah? <laughs> Different. <laughs> it is weird. It's a bit. It's a bit bizarre. But if you're from Scotland or the North, you'll know it's a delicacy. So we just finished up lunch. I mean, I almost feel bad to say that that was lunch because usually lunch for us is like a baked potato or some salad. Like it's not very inspiring. Potato in months. No, so either I'm not eating lunch or that's a lie. Or like leftovers or from the night before. Like lunch for us is just like get it down, you're good to go. Yeah, that was 
incredible. I will leave a link down below. Um, it's newly opened, literally, when this vlog goes live, it'll have just say opened. Edinburgh Gin is up there with my top tier gins. Like, it is so delicious. And obviously, it's northern, which we love. So, yeah, thank you so much to Six Bun Eco and also Edinburgh Gin for inviting us down. It was exquisite. The staff were lovely, too. So, um, yeah, we're going to hop on the tube now, head back into town for more gin. <laughs> <laughs> Zara booked this way, way, way long ago, like over a month ago. It's the Malfi gin, so it's the Italian gin. Um, it's like a terrace, and the weather is still somewhat okay, so fingers crossed it'll be alright because it's an outdoor terrace. So we're gonna go there, have a couple of gin and tonics before dinner. We're back in town, and we're in Carnaby. It's very busy in town today. It's, um, I think it's because things are getting somewhat back to normal. So um, Zara actually got a promotion at work, which is very exciting. So she needs to get some stationery supplies for her new role. So we're just gonna go to a place called Neon Chic, which does really nice stationery, but it's actually quite affordable. So um, yeah, we're just walking through Carnaby now. So we've just stopped off at the Mercanti um, Gin. Terrace. It's in partnership with Malfi Gin, which me and Zara absolutely love. Obviously, Italian gin, Malfi course. It's okay. It's not amazing, but it's nice, and it's nice to sit outside and have a cheap little gin. We did. We we were Zara was inspired by a TikTok that she saw and sent it over, and I was like, yes, that looks lovely. So it's it's nice. However, it is on Park Lane, so it's a little bit mm, expensive, should we say. But um, we're just going to do the one gin before dinner. Um, it's nice, it's okay. It's not nice, it's just there's not really much atmosphere and it is literally on Park Lane. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think inside on an evening it must be lovely because it's an Italian restaurant. So I'll leave it linked down below if anyone's interested. So we just got caught in the most torrential downpour I've ever been in in my life. It was just so rainy, so we ran from the Malfi Gin Terrace. I actually cut my hand, Zara's umbrella broke and it cut my hand trying to put it back together. Um, but we're in a place called Rudy's for dinner, which actually opened in Manchester and they have one now in Soho. They very kindly invited me down to try some of their food and it looks incredible. So this is the menu and just to give you in terms of ideas of prices as well, Zara's just pointed out, where is their Malfi Gin? There we go. A Malfi Gin and Tonic is £6.50 here and it was just £12 where we were. So there you go, there's an idea of how different pricing can be in London, which we don't mind because it was okay. But um, yeah, we're going to order some of the pizzas. We've had some of these before, but it's the bake at home version. We're doing two pizzas, two cocktails and two sides. After a six course lunch. <laughs> it's fine, there's been some time. So food has just arrived. We've gone for a giant portobello pizza, a aubergine fromage pizza and a garlic bread. <laughs> And I like how that was like positioned by me. I mean, they That's almost, funny. they must have known. That's a garlic bread there. And then we've gone for a little side salad and some um, aioli. So we're going to dig in. This looks insane. So we've gone for a dessert. We've gone for our classic espresso martinis. These look lovely. And a little tiny tiramisu with two spoons to share. We were recommended to try the tiramisu. And I'm very excited. It's got some biscotti biscuits on top. So we're going to dig in. Morning, happy Sunday. It's another rainy day in London, unfortunately, which is, it's fine, which is it's kind of good though, because Sundays are really chill days. We're gonna go to the gym this morning. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, we just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so um, we're having some breakfast on the sofa. Yes, we're eating again after we spent the whole day yesterday, what looked like just eating, which it was, it was lovely. And we're just having a chill Sunday today. We're gonna be making a roast dinner, which I'm so excited about. I can't believe we're making a roast dinner in August. It's usually like scorched and hot, but when it rains, it's all I really want. And we're putting a bed together for Zara, actually. I'll show you more of that in a bit, because there's like a story as to why we're putting a bed together. But yeah, I'm just gonna have some breakfast and watch a bit of TV. So the time has come. Oh. <laughs> Zara's, how long have you had this bed? Like, oh, years. Since I was 18. A, a hot, and she's 26 now, so that's... <gasps> I'm 23! <laughs> so she's had it a fair few years. Obviously, we're never going to replace it. But this mattress just here is from Zara's friend, Jason. We gave our sofa and our dining table to Jason because he recently moved flat and his housemate who he lived with has moved to Edinburgh and had a free mattress going available. So Jason got his mattress and Jason donated his mattress to Zara. He's literally had it like less than a month. Yeah, he's barely slept on it. He hasn't even really been here. Yeah, it's from Amazon um, and we tested it out and it's so comfy. Uh -huh. So Zara's ordered a new, oh, oh sorry, because this one is a, it's like a three quarter length 
bed, it's like a smaller double, and this is actually a double, so we need to basically remove the whole bed system, it's like a divan bed, so we're going to get rid of that. I finally have storage. <laughs> yeah, under bed storage, like divan beds, they're fine, but it's like... The thing is... There's I, just no storage. But I they? did buy this when I was 18. I was living at home, and yeah. our box bedroom could only accommodate a, sm a small double. This size bed. Mine was the same. So um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. It served you well. Six years. Mm -hmm. Six years. That's crazy. She did the job. <laughs> so um, I mean, the fact that you can fold the mattress like, in half is that's concerning. That is quite bad. <laughs> now, can you hear it? So um, yeah, she ordered a new bed from Wayfair. I'll leave a link down below. It looks lovely. So we're going to build that, pop the new mattress on, and you're going to sleep well tonight. Right. I feel like I'm going to look very lost in a big bed. Yeah, it's going to be the princess and the pea. <laughs> Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things Ready? I Ready? Go for it. No, this is Simon. Come and sit with me. It feels so weird. Look how small I am for these beds. This is the finished bed. I'll um, ask Zara for the link down below. It looks absolutely lovely. I'm so good we didn't like get this in with the bedroom transformation because I think it would have just really all came together beautifully. But obviously it's just the timings of when Jason moved, etc, etc. But yeah, absolutely wonderful. And if you didn't see the bedroom makeover, I'll link that up top. So I was just booking a collection of her old beds so the council come and take their bits away. We're gonna have a lovely night's sleep tonight. So we're just gonna have some of the pizza that we didn't eat yesterday like the leftovers, uh, we popped it in a box, we're gonna have that for lunch now. So we are just having some leftovers left from last night, which is actually quite a lot of leftovers. Um, so we just made a little salad. We just got back from um, the, the dump or the skip, depending on what you call it. The tip. Um, the tip. And we, we dismantled Zara's bed. So obviously it was solid wood, so you can recycle it, so that's fine. Zara did think about donating it, but it was in pretty bad nick after all the years, so so it's fine. Um, so we're now chilling. I've just had a shower. And we're going to watch Trafficked on Netflix. It sounds interesting. Sounds like a little, little but it's like a gripping psychological thriller. So it's a bit like Taken, if you've ever seen Taken. And then we've got some ingredients while we're out to make a roast dinner. So we're gonna make that in a bit. So we just finished the film. Um, I feel like there's like a running theme with our films. It was a little bit dark and a little bit weird, wasn't it? That was really, really yeah. sad. Um, probably wouldn't recommend that one if it's, um, if it's not on the top of your agenda to watch something that's quite difficult to watch. But um, anyway, we're gonna make a roast dinner because we've wanted one for ages. Uh, we couldn't find any parsnips, which is really upsetting. I'm actually a little bit wounded about it. I'm gonna pick this up because it's gonna hurt my back. And how many shops we went to to try to get parsnips? Yeah, we tried like green grocers, we tried Iceland, we tried Lidl, we tried Sainsbury's. No parsnips, but that's all right because we've got carrots, uh, we're gonna do broccoli, Sweet mash, roast potatoes, and Yorkshire puddings, and sausages, and gravy, and peas. So there's still loads going on. Honest, Zara's actually taking charge of the roast because she said that she wanted. You've put the pan on the wrong thing. You're currently heating the lid up instead of the pan. No. <laughs> Zara's taking charge of the roast because she's never cooked a roast before and wanted to do it herself. So I'm giving her. A couple of pointers. You've always said I'd be a great teacher. I did just that second say you'd be a terrible teacher. It's not true. Because you ask Luke and he goes, so Luke, do you think I should put oil in with the onion? Do you think you should put oil in with the onion? Hmm? Uh, with a bottle of the onion? That's what I meant. Why don't I bloody ask him? At school, I'd, if you asked a teacher a question, they'd let you figure out the answer. And you'd not be school, mine would hold my hand and show me. Well, I'm going to hold your hand and teach you how to make a roast dinner. Mm, it's gonna be beautiful because I touched it. <laughs> so we do a lovely red wine um, gravy. So I was just adding some red wine, and then we're gonna do some balsamic vinegar and some caster sugar 
and reduce all that down and then add some veg stock. Right, the chef's taken a well-earned break. I'm the chief washer upper today. Oh, uh, we've got to let <laughs> we've got to let the uh, potatoes crisp up for at least half an hour. So we're gonna have a little watch of some TV and then we'll be back in the kitchen to finish off with the Yorkshires and the other bits and bobs. Roast update. Oh, smelling good. These are the roast potatoes. Sarah's just put a garlic salt on them as well. This is the gravy. These are the Yorkshires and they've fluffed up beautifully. And then in here we've just got some broccoli steaming. It's gonna be fab. And then in the oven we've just got some carrots and some sausages. I should be the last to know all in this this is Zara's first a proper first official sorry roast dinner completely done by her I'm having a cheeky glass of red wine what do you think talk to me try the carrots delish and they are my thing now. amazing delish. so we've done the carrots in some honey mustard and fennel and um, we've just done some steamed broccoli and some peas these are the um, Yorkshire's that we normally do and then these are some like salt and pepper baked potatoes, uh, sorry roasted potatoes with some Linda McCartney sausages and some Sweden carrot mash. Cheers to your non-existent. <laughs> sorry I didn't fancy a glass of wine after yesterday. To be honest I didn't but I just really wanted like a red wine with my roast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's like winter. I can't quite believe I'm having a roast dinner in like early August. I, I don't think I've ever had this in my life. Mmm, <laughs> I've got a honey on. Mm. Carrots, oh my god, the carrots. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Those roast potatoes though. Mmm. This is so mm. good. Well done, Zara. Okay, we've just finished our roast dinner. It's absolutely delicious. And um, we're just gonna call it an evening. We're just gonna watch a little bit of TV. A bit of Love Island. Sorry, it's a bit trashy. And we've got to wake up super early in the morning because we are going to a spin class. Oh, sorry, that was your foot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for making my roast. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog. It's been a fast one. I can't believe it's Monday tomorrow. If you have enjoyed it, as always, I mean the world if you click subscribe. It's lovely to have you here. I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.